this is me Kong again from Posh Coaching Classes. Another video, another day, another topic. So today, if you remember last time I started a new series that was on spoken English and uh, we did quite a few things in that video. We tried to learn and memorize a few things. Today, we are going to start another one when it comes to conversation, when we start a conversation wherever we want to and with whom we want to start a conversation, we start a conversation by saying, how are you? So today, what our topic is going to be, it is different ways to ask, how are you? See, English is a vast language. There are many ways, there are many things that you can use, that you can tweak and you can make different sentences and the meaning will remain the same. So here we will try to memorize and at the same time we will try to learn as well so that we can use those all these sentences what I have written already just to save the time. So these sentences will be helping us to make our vocab better. We will be able to present ourselves in a good way. So let's start and uh, let's see what are these sentences. So the sentences what I have chosen, they are not uh, quite a lot. There are few sentences and these sentences will be beneficial to all of us. We can use all of these sentences in all the, you know, uh, so, you know, all the conversations what we are doing, what we do in our day to day life. So if I just start from the first one, it says, how was your day? So this is quite a basic one. You will, you know, you, you must have, uh, you know, heard this sentence and in fact, a lot of sentences. So it's just to make sure that you memorize these sentences. So the first one is, how was your day? So if, if I have to explain this, it's, it's actually a very good one. Why? Because you are asking a person that how was your day? What does that mean? It means that whatever the person has done in the whole day, how it has been. So it is a very good one. You can ask this, how was your day? Then what's happening? What new is happening? So you can ask this as well. After that, how is it rolling? Maybe a few of us may not have heard about this. Maybe a few of us may not have used this, but this is in these days, you can use this. This is quite a lot used even in India. So you can say, how is it rolling? Again, the meaning remains the same. Mind you, all the sentences what I'm using today, the meaning is how are you? Just the different ways how we put it across. So how is it rolling? Then how is it going? Yeah, or you can say how's it going? Same way, how's it rolling? So how's everything? How's everything? Again, it's inquiring. We are inquiring that how is everything about the person whom we are talking to. So he can describe, he can give us a little story about things. He can actually make us understand how is he going. So afterwards, that is how are things then you all right? So this is very good one again. How you all right? So this actually you have a question mark here. So in our, the way we ask this, you all right. So what does that mean that I'm asking the person and it is much of a British type of, a, you know, uh, asking. So you all right, you can ask this as well. Afterwards, are you well? If you are meeting someone and if he was not well and uh, the moment we meet the person, we can definitely ask you, are you well? Afterwards, we have, how have you been? So you can also say this as well, just like the way we say long time no see, we can say, how have you been? Because we may not have, you know, seen that person from a long time. It, it might be quite a long time. So we can definitely ask, how have you been? Afterwards, what's going on? So you are inquiring again, at the same time you're asking for how are you actually, you're asking the same thing. So you can say what's going on. Afterwards, we have what are you up to? What is happening with your life or what is happening in your life? So you're asking the same thing. Then we have how do you do? It's again a basic one. We use this quite a lot 
everywhere so how do you do now the, the next one you see howdy you might have heard this word uh, recently howdy modi then howdy trump uh, this was the line this was the sentence and uh, this was the word which was used in those banners which were put all across the city so howdy is is the new way of calling uh, how are you uh, so after that we have what's new with you so it's again you're inquiring you're just asking the person what is new happening with him or in his life then we have how are you holding up then again the meaning will remain the same but you are just asking the person in a different way in a better way then we have how is life selling you are just asking a general thing a just a common thing that uh, how are you but at the same time you are asking for his life as well how is he doing how is it going all the stuff will come in this then we have another one what's with the face maybe if you see uh, if you see some person who who is not in a happy mood who who might have some uh, you know you who are making some faces so you can definitely ask what's with the face means you're asking how are you is there anything bothering you is there anything troubling you so we may help the person all right afterwards the last one how are things coming along so this is one of the very good ways to ask how are things coming along you can ask the person the same thing how are you at the same time the sentence is a different one it is how are things coming along so these were a few basic uh, you know sentences the meaning is same but the ways are different so you can ask people whomever you meet you can use these sentences first of all you can practice it you can practice all the sentences you can memorize all the sentences you once you practice it once you memorize it then you have all the ways of using this is not finished we have many more sentences in this as well as i said in my earlier video also so this is the basic crux of how we say how are you then once you are done with this we can practice many more so this is about how are you right so let's uh, continue and uh, we'll move to the next set all right so now that if somebody is asking you how are you so obviously he is actually expecting an answer from you he's expecting a reply from you and uh, it could be a reply uh, in a happy way if you are in a happy mood it could be a reply in a sad way in case if you're not happy with something so I have again chosen few sentences which you can use to respond to how are you so once if if anybody anyone if he or she is asking you how are you so how can we respond so let's see so if somebody says how are you depending on your mood you can decide which one to use so the first one you can say is I'm good all right then you can say I am fine then you can say I am okay if you're not that happy you can just say I'm just okay not too bad right so you are uh, giving an answer you're giving a reply and you're saying not too bad so you are just going well afterwards you can say pretty good if you're in a very good mood if you're if you're doing very well you can definitely say that yes pretty good very well thanks you are just expressing yourself you're telling that you're very well and on top of that you are actually thanking the person as well whomever is asking you how are you then i have been better so this is that you were not well before or you were not in a good mood before and now you you are in a good mood so you can definitely say i have been better afterwards nothing much it's just the 50 50 kind of a situation you are okay you are just doing well so you can definitely say nothing much all right just the usual as nothing much i said it's just the 50 50 kind of a situation here also you have the same kind of situation you are just doing well so you can say just the usual afterwards much better so you are in a good mood you are doing well you have you know recovered from something which was not happening 
uh, or which was not uh, going in your way so you can say much better afterwards you can say going great so this word great itself tells the you know feeling of the person it's it's about the happiness so he can definitely you can definitely say going great i'm doing really well so it means that the person is really happy the person is in a very good mood he is in a jovial mood so he can say he or she anybody you can say i am doing really well after that just the same old if nothing is changing nothing is happening in your life it's just the same situation as it was before so you can say the same just the same old afterwards i am pretty standard right now so this might be a new one so the sentence i will just repeat it one more time it's i am pretty standard right now so again it means that he is in a nice mood but not in a very jovial or a happy mood so you can definitely say i'm pretty standard the way i am all the time it's just the uh, uh, same time i uh, i'm the same as well i'm the same this time as well so you can say i'm pretty standard right now and at the end i have written one more so far so good so it means that yes whatever is happening it's just happening for good whatever is happening you or whoever says this thing the sentence you can definitely say uh, so far so good when when you are just the doing fine all right so these were a few responses or the how you respond to how are you these were the few responses these were the few sentences you can again i'll say the same thing again that you can practice these sentences and once you are good enough with these sentences you can start using them in your vocabulary also all right so that was about it today what we covered we covered how are you how to ask how are you and then how to respond to how are you we will be continuing the same uh, series we will just move on to the next step so till then you just keep practicing and make sure you subscribe to our channel ask your family ask your friends ask your you know relatives to subscribe to our channel that is posh coaching classes you can definitely subscribe we have many more videos to come so thank you so much this is me signing off for today we'll see you in the next one thank you